Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the first. So, happy full moon. Um, but the timing is still fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. The Hierophant. The Hierophant is about faith. It's about faith. It's about believing. This is this is a channeler of a direct connection to God. Okay, this is uh, uh me may this we, whatever's going on here. Uh, I do believe that there's a higher power involved. Um, there's a direct connection to God. Faith is needed. Um. Now, what I just heard is a father, and this definitely could be a father figure because if you think about a priest, a priest is often called a father. So there may be something to do with a father here. It doesn't have to be, but the hair font is about believing, believing in your intuition, believing in your gut, listening. It is about listening. It's about forgiveness as well. Um... forgiveness something about forgiveness here and I don't usually see that with a hero font card but I feel like this is about mercy or something like that um, maybe you need to forgive yourself now this is the highest authority the hero font is the highest authority in the deck This isn't fair. Justice reversed. This isn't fair. So this is an this is an imbalance. This is something not going as you thought it was going to go. Let me get another card. This is this is a card of karma. Something is not going to go the way that you thought it was going to go. This is this is a, a loss. It could be a legal loss. doesn't have to be a legal loss, though. This is unfair. This is an injustice. Somebody may be saying those words. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Those words, something that may happen that those words come out of a person's mouth. This is not being happy with the outcome, but... There is a higher power involved. You have to believe and have faith that everything happens for a reason. Seven of Swords reversed. Now this is some sort of slipping away, getting away with it, or escaping. But this could also be not getting away with it. Getting caught could go either way, right? This is not fair. This is a scheme. This is this is some sort of oh, somebody's planning something. They're planning something. They're scheming something. But higher power is watching. Okay, this is a. Uh, dishonesty, okay, the, the, the justice reverse is somebody that is dishonest, that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, but they're not going to get away with whatever they've been doing because this is karma. Well, we know that this is all about karma, right? That's what this is, time is about. This is somebody that may be running away when the going gets, running away from the law, running away from karma. They've been getting away. That's why those words came out. They've been getting away with it, but they're not going to get away with it anymore. They're going to get caught by somebody in authority because this is the highest authority. Hmm. There's some sort of cowardly behavior here. 
too. We have somebody here that is uh, cowardly. This person is very sneaky. Um, very, very sly. Always, always uh, waiting. This person is, is out waiting to see who's going to catch them. You know what I mean? Is up to no good and is worried that they're going to get caught. This person is worried that, and they are going to get caught because there's, there's somebody that is watching. This is, this, this is, okay? Whether it's the universe or it's somebody in authority, somebody is watching. Somebody has ignored a warning. And I don't know if it has to do with some sort of legalities or they're going to ignore it. It's like, I can do whatever I want. I don't care about the authorities. I don't care about the legal system. I don't care about the law. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what we got here. We got somebody here that thinks they are above the law. They think they're above the law. <sighs> this is a... Uh... I don't know. Looks like it's a malice of some sort. Eight of Wands in a hurry. This is this is somebody that is in a big, 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 big hurry. They're in a hurry to get someplace. They got some sort of. They're on a mission. We got somebody here that is on a mission. They definitely are. They're on a mission. They're on their vehicle. And they're oh, well. These are on horses, but. It's like they're going someplace and they're in a hurry. They're in a hurry to get to wherever they're going. Hmm. Could be some speeding involved. Okay, because this is fast. Moving very, very fast. Somebody's moving very fast. Uh, hanged man. Now, there could be some punishment that is coming. We could. There could be. There could be some punishment that is coming. Now, the hanged man is somebody that has been thinking a lot thinking 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 will not change and definitely refuses to change i'm not going to change i don't have to change this is my point this is my view i'm not changing it this is somebody that ignores uh, anybody's advice very very stubborn and egotistical okay this person needs a new perspective but refuses to gain one Okay, I'm not going to change my mind for any reason. So this is a very stubborn individual. Uh, it feels like they're getting caught. They're getting caught doing something. Somebody could come rushing in, and it could be more than one person. Okay, I don't know if it's police or, or what it is, but this is something happening very, very fast. Somebody may even try to get away. You know, they may try to get away, like escape, you know. Maybe they try to escape the authorities. I don't know if that's the case, but I would advise on it. Anyhow, um, this hangman is somebody that is needing to learn a lesson. And they are going to learn a lesson. This person refuses to see anybody else's point of view. This higher power has been watching the whole thing. Okay, this is a Taurus, doesn't have to be. Whoever this energy is, it's it's a, and it could be a father figure. Maybe it's a father figure that passed away. Now, I don't know because, and it could be a God. I mean, whatever you're this high, it could be Saturn. Could be Mars. I don't know. It's somebody that is in a position of authority. It's an energy of authority. Authority, when I fight authority, authority always wins. Okay. Authority will be winning this battle. You can escape. You can try. But you ain't going to make it. You refuse to change. Therefore, you will be punished. karma haven't heard the crows all day but they're here for the reading knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles is about 
This is a test. It's a test card. This is a test. Somebody's been tested. Their responsibilities, their integrity, their loyalty was tested. Now this is this is about being practical, being realistic. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. This person has been planning. This is a planner. The Knight of Pentacles is a planner. Isolating themselves, planning something. That's and they definitely have. Somebody's been planning something. Ten of Cups reversed. Now this is not good. Okay, and the bottom of the card is the moon. So this is definitely about the full moon. All is not as it seems. We have somebody here that may have some mental imbalances. Could be dealing. I mean, we have Pisces, Cancer, Pisces. We have Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Libra. Um, we could even say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyway, we have somebody here that is planning their next move. That's the way I feel. They're and they're gonna take action. They are. This is a scheme. They got something up their sleeve. It's against the law. This is somebody that is above the law. They don't listen to the law. They haven't learned their lessons in the past. This is a karmic lesson that they are about to learn. Uh, and this has to do with a relationship, could do with family, a family situation, okay? With this Ten of Cups. But Ten of Cups reversed is relationship problems, children leaving. This is a dying dream, okay? This is not happily ever after. This is like sacrificing. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves, wasting their time, trying to prove a point. Trying to prove a point that isn't even valid. And it's because of ego. They may have gotten themselves into an unhappy relationship, but this is about common sense. Knight of Pentacles is very practical and realistic and uh, hard working. <laughs> so this person has been scheming or trying to do something, not communicating because this sword is down. And no, Knight of Pentacles usually don't have a sword. Maybe they do. I don't never notice it before. But anyway, that there's not communicating. So this person has definitely not been communicating. But they've been thinking, 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 thinking. But their pride and their ego has been in the way. Communication could be coming. Or this person could even be showing up. Something is happening. What is happening Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody may be coming back, coming back to, I don't know, do something. Uh, Ace of Cups reversed. Now the Ace of Cups reversed. Emotional blockage, emotional shutdown, sadness, things not getting better. Um, sad. Somebody is really, really unhappy. There could be some sad news that is coming. Okay? I'm just saying. I mean, i got to be honest with you. This is sad. And this is news. So there could be some sad news that is coming. Somebody doesn't get away with something. I don't know what the hell it is. They think that they're getting going to get away with it. But they're not. This person appears to be going through some sort of doorway. Going someplace. At night, 
this is nighttime. So somebody's going someplace at night. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, and this person keeps looking to see if the other person or somebody is watching, but they're leaving. It's like they're, they're, they're being very quiet about it too. They're, this is, it feels like tiptoeing. It's like they're going someplace at night. Interesting. They're going somewhere. Three of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. That's lack of togetherness. That's lack of teamwork. Going alone. Somebody is going alone. They're in some sort of relationship that they're not on the same page. They don't have any more energy or ambition or focus. Whoever they're with probably doesn't respect them or they don't respect them. Whatever the case is, could go either way. There's a lack of respect here. There's a lack of of ability to work with somebody and there could be a third this is like a third party situation too there's some sort of third party interference there's lack of harmony with others this person can't work with anybody nobody wants to work with this person because they're so it's my way or the highway you know so nobody wants to work with this person. I feel like whoever that person is that is uh, unbalanced, and they are definitely unbalanced, and does not and will not be held accountable for their actions, is, uh, I feel like that person is being charged, whatever that means, charged and I, and I say charged because it looks like these horses are charging. So they're going to be charged with something. Okay, whatever that means. It could be charged by people. They could be charged by the law. Uh, you know, whatever the case is. They could be committed to something. They could end up in prison. Something is happening here. Guilty as, guilty as charged. Oh. So yeah, somebody is going to be guilty. Somebody's going to going to be found guilty. They're going to be found guilty for their bad behavior, for their disrespect, for their uh breaking the law, whatever the hell it is that they broke the law about. They broke the law in some way. Um and they're going to be punished. Punishment. I'm sorry, but punishment is coming. High Priestess. Oh, High Priestess. It's funny, I was going to start this reading talking about the High Priestess, but I didn't. Um, high Priestess, this is, a, this is a psychic, a tarot reader, a medium, um, an empath, somebody that is very in touch, may have called it. She may have called it. She may have uh, sensed it or, you know, but this is the High Priestess typically keeps something to themselves until the moment until it's needed to be revealed so i do feel like something is about i feel like it's about to be re revealed um there's some sort of a secret here somebody's been uh keeping a secret they've been keeping it to themselves but i feel like the secret is going to come out it's going to be very 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 emotional now, the high priestess is oh, very mysterious very mysterious she keeps things to herself very receptive very reflective um observes so there's some sort of observing here and inner knowing so we have somebody here that knows that there that uh there is relationship problems this person whoever this high priestess is knows that this person that is trying to prove a point this person that is so stubborn and e egotistical this person that is refusing to change that has ego problems this this one knows that this person is uh doing something against the law this high priestess knows that this person is not in a happy relationship okay the high you can't hide anything from the high priestess 
The high priestess is somebody that is very um, sensitive to energy. She's sensitive to... Uh, all she has to do is look at you and she knows. Okay, she knows. She feels. She feels deeply. So, um, typically, the high priestess is single. Okay, she's very independent. She doesn't engage herself with a ton of friends. She doesn't have a, very many friends at all. Okay, and I was going to talk about the high priestess because people want me to share my decks. The high, the real high priestess is mysterious. She doesn't share everything. It's hers. So anyway, um, we have a very intuitive, uh, awakened individual here who knows that this person is going to get what they deserve and they're guilty, knows that this person is guilty. But somebody is headed towards this high priestess because this eight of wands is headed right towards this high priestess and this hangman, which is interesting. But there's karma. Oh, there's karma for this hanged man. I don't know. Maybe that hurt the high priestess. This, was this hangman was in a relationship with the high priestess? Interesting. Anyhow, um, but this is a broken relationship. This is commitment. So it's like we have somebody here that was unwilling to commit. Now they may be planning. Now, now, I know I just changed the story, but this is coming with an offer. Somebody may be coming with an offer. So just be prepared for that. But I think that you need to be very careful with this Seven of Swords. This is be careful. Somebody may be coming back. Maybe, maybe they hurt you. Maybe they're sad. Maybe they got some karma. Maybe they weren't respected by their third party. And I know I'm changing the story. I don't know who that is for, but... I think you need to be aware of that. Um, they couldn't work with this person. This person didn't respect them. Whatever the case is. Lack of togetherness. Lack of harmony. Couldn't work with this person. And a third party could be a family member. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a child. It could be anybody. It could be somebody they work with. You know. Um, but anyhow. Be prepared for some news to arrive. And this news is about this hanged man. There's punishment that is coming. And the punishment could be loss of, I don't know, a relationship, a previous, another relationship, or something like that. Maybe the person they got with, the third party, didn't love them. Anyway, um, but the high priestess... She's very independent. She doesn't need anybody. She doesn't. She's, she's, she's very uh, in tune. She listens. Very intimidating. So the high priestess is very intimidating. Most people don't want to be with a high priestess. They do in the bedroom because she's very seductive. The high priestess is like one of the most seductive females in the deck. But they don't want to stay with her because they can't hide nothing from her. So, you can't hide damn thing from her. Not one thing. So, that's intimidating. So, we have, we anyhow. So, we have somebody here that has been trying to prove a point. Now they're getting some sort of karma that they didn't treat another person fairly. Now, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. I'm not sure what it is. Whatever it is, it could be. Whatever This could be a family relationship. Somebody in the family. could have to do with parents and children, even. Okay? We have somebody here that is unwilling to bend. Not going to bend. They have been unwilling to bend. 
Now there's moving forward in a hurry. This person may be in a hurry. Interesting. Strength. Ooh, we have a coward. Did we talk about a coward here a minute ago? I think we did. Anyhow, the strength card reversed is uh, lack of confidence, uh, feeling inadequate, inad feeling doubtful. Well, that's probably why this person is still where they're at because they don't have the confidence. They don't have the strength. They may even be getting sick. Karma can, karma can uh, affect your health. They're going to teach you your lesson however they see fit. Okay? So there could be some poor health here. Somebody's health may be declining rapidly. Okay? Rapidly. There's rapid change here. Okay? Just saying. For this person has that has been refusing to change. There is rapid change. Courtesy of a higher power. Anyhow... Um, the strength card reversed is a uh, lack of respect for others. Again, we have somebody here that is very, very controlling. I'm serious. This person is a control freak. But now they, it's like now they're about to learn their lesson. They are. How the third, it has to do with the third party. It does. I know that it does. The third party is is separating. Now, this could be a termination. It could be a miscarriage. It's a loss of a friend. A lot. The party is over. The re, there's no reunion. There's the third party um, may have cheated on them because this is cheated. You know, karma. It's just the way it goes. There's some sort of cheating here. So when we get prepared to hear, because this is news arriving very, very quickly. Somebody has, I don't know what's going on. It's very sad. Whatever this news is, not good news. It's not. Who wants to see another person get hurt, even if they hurt you? Well, there's a lot of people that, that haven't healed. And this is haven't healed. I mean, the high priestess, she's, when you get to the high priestess mode, you, you're happy by yourself. You, you really it's kind of like the nine of pentacles but more spiritual anyhow um this is lack of healing so people that haven't healed are bitter anyhow um this is weakness we have weakness we have somebody here that is weak very weak weak in their mind okay so we have somebody here that is weak it feels like this weak person has lost their power over the high priestess. And now, <laughs> they may be trying to come back. Now, I don't know if that's your story. But I do feel like we have another story here. I feel like we have an individual that is ill. This person is sick. They need help. This person needs help and they're refusing it. They're refusing to work with anybody. And I feel like they're mentally imbalanced. It could be the same person. But I feel like it's somebody else's story. And I feel like the authorities are going to catch this person doing something sneaky. Something uh, against the law. That gets them committed or in jail. Good luck.